keep up to date with our latest videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Hi there, welcome to this video from footballbetdata.com. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Poisson again, a uh, follow-on video from one we did mm, probably three months or so ago now, which gained a lot of interest from uh, members and visitors to the site alike. Um, and they've asked us if it's possible for us to, to produce a, a working file. Um, and that's exactly what we've done. So if you navigate to the example downloads uh, page on our website, now this, this is absolutely free. You don't need to have a login. Um, you can see this FBD Poisson file. You can simply click and download it. Um, and there's an explanation about what this file does. Um, and I'm gonna take uh, talk you through it on this, um, this video itself. Um, obviously on this page as well, there are other example downloads that you can use. And these have been designed to work in conjunction with our data output, but it doesn't necessarily mean you have to use our data output, um, but it's quicker. You can just do a quick um, web dump, paste uh, and do your analysis. And that's what I'm gonna talk you through now. So obviously the, um, the domestic leagues, the winter summer seasons are all come to a close now, um, but we do have summer leagues running. Um, so we do have, you know, 365 day coverage of uh, football within the site. So what I'm gonna be using today is the Japanese J League um, as the example for the download because that season is now well underway. Um, and I'm gonna export that data to Excel which I've got here. So here is the, um, the export of the um, Japanese J-League for season 2021. Um, and we've got all the games and all the upcoming games in there. And as you can see here, there are games um, that are actually due to be played um, later on this morning. So we can actually focus on those because we, we do have odds as well that are populated in there. So even better. Um, and we obviously have odds in there for the weekend games generally a um, five to seven days in advance we get the odds but they obviously firm up closer to kickoff um, so I'm gonna copy all of this data and now what I'm gonna do is paste it into the Poisson um, spreadsheet so the example download that I've already downloaded is here and this is how you can download it it's blank and you've got the FBD output tab and then we've got half time and full time and I'm going to talk you through those calculations during the course of this video so the data will paste, it goes up to column U. Um, also have these additional columns here, which help with the calculations. Um, and you just need to ensure that these are dragged all the way down to meet the entire data set um, when you paste in. Now, the file is designed to be based on um, one league at a time. So we don't want to confuse the file by, by adding in J League 2 and the Swedish leagues. Um, the English leagues, it's, it's purely designed to work on a one season, one league basis. Okay, so just pasting in the data there that I've copied from the, um, the direct output. Now, as I said, you don't have to use the FBD output if you're not a member, it's so much quicker. Um, and memberships are so reasonably priced, it's, it's just a huge time saver. You could uh, obtain the data from whatever your data source is or type these in manually, but you can see even on a smallish league like this, it's um, it's quite some task, so for, for convenience, um, using the data output as an advanced member is by far the quickest and most effective way uh, to use these sheets. Um, as I just touched on there, these calculation columns uh, on the right-hand side just need to make sure they're dragged all the way down to the bottom um, of the data set. And as you can see there, there's formula all the way in there, right down to the 381st row, so 380 games in this league, um, that is completely covered. Now, by wonder of magic, we have these two tabs in place, and by clicking those, um, we'll, it'll do a quick calculation to pull through the teams, as you've got there, in alphabetical order, um, and all these calculations are already coded into the, um, to the sheet itself. Now, you can click on these uh, calculations, and if you want, you can dissect them. But basically what they're doing is working out um, the home team um, and the away team's um, strengths. So how many times they've scored um, the amount of goals across the top here during the course of the season to date. So you probably do want to use this after the league's built up sort of five or six um, home games and five or six away games. So sort of 10, 12 games in total really gives you the um, gets you a, a more reliable data set. Um, then we have the average goals that the 
team uh, has scored, an average that they've conceded. And from that, we have a calculation for their attacking and defensive strength, which then feeds into um, all these calculations, which will soon be populated on the right hand side. So I'm going to look through the list of fixtures today um, that we have in the, um, the output. And if I can pronounce any of these Japanese ne team names, um, I will include them. So we have down the bottom, let's have a look at this last one. So we have Yokohama F Marinos and Sagan Tosu, relatively easy. So that's a game due to take place later this morning. So we're going to select those two teams. So click these yellow cells here. Be careful, obviously, there's two Yokohamas there. So it's the F Marinos and uh, it was um, Sagan Tosu, their opponent. And there, automatically, that puts in all these calculations for you. You don't need to do anything else. And it works on a pretty obvious uh, traffic light, red, amber, green system, where green um, is where they have the highest probability, red through to the lowest. So these are pretty obvious, but I'm just going to take you through the, um, the sections here that are populated. So over on the right-hand side, we have the correct score market. So you can see, uh, and this is full-time, so we do have the same for half-time, which I'll go through as well. So uh, full-time score um, of nil-nil, 20% -nil, uh, likelihood. Um, one nil, so that's the most popular, 22.7%. Um, and then we have two nil, 12.4%. And then we have to the right of that, the odds, the calculated odds. So this is where you can deem if there's a value bet um, or not. So just very quickly looking at that it would look like there's going to be a low scoring game slightly in favor of the home team perhaps both teams not scoring um, and you could uh, look through betfair or the the bookmaker of choice if you wanted to use the correct score market and perhaps these are given a, a rough estimation of the the true odds and if you can find better odds that, that are being offered here it's potentially a value bet now as always with betting and data we highly recommend that you do your due diligence before placing any bets or trades. The data is only good as the information that's fed in. And this is just to act as a guide, you know, things like the weather, team selection, injuries, travel, um, what's at stake for both teams. All of those things can influence um, the odds and the performance during the game. So data is great for a guide, but it should be used as just that. OK. Um, now moving back to the right hand side, so just scrolling down. So total goal, expectation, calculation for each team's here. Um, and again, the green uh, highlighting the, the highest probability. And as you would expect, as you go through, the, the probabilities get lower uh, for the more goals to be scored. Um, in terms of the match result market, so the 1x2, uh, the favour of the home team, 50%. And you can see here that that calculates to uh, odds of 1.97 and here are the actual odds that are being offered that pull through automatically for this game so it's important that obviously that like i said at the beginning you are only using a um, a league that is um it's, it's an individual league um and it's one season at a time and ideally you want this to be a um a league that works on the play each, each team twice once home once away basis to make sure that those odds are pulling through and if you're obviously to select a game you know, two, three, four, five weeks or months away, um, you're not going to have those actual odds populated because they're not known. So this this will only pull through um, within the next seven days of a game taking place, which is probably when you want to be looking at it anyway. Um, so then we have the draw, the likelihood of the draw and likelihood of the away win. Um, and again, the odds um, and then the actual odds uh, that, are, that are on offer here. OK, uh, moving slightly down. So we have the over under and we have uh, over 0.5, 1.5, 2.5, and the same for under. And again, for the 2.5 goal market, um, it pulls through the actual odds um, that are being offered here. Um, and you can see here that um, the actual odds on the under are hugely over the uh, expected odds, which would determine it to be potentially a value bet there. Um, we've got 3.5 as well. Um, under 3.5 as well is, is, is the most likely. Um, but using the fixtures and results um, part of our website only pulls through the under two and a half. If you want all the other odds, um, 
they are contained within our data archive, which you'd have to pull out uh, separately, and that would mean uh, amending this sheet. So it's only uh, only currently designed um, in the in the format of the fixtures and results download. Um, finally, both teams to score, and as I sort of said earlier, that you'd expect looking at the score predictions, the the higher percentage to be on no, um, and it's it's basically three to one there um, expectation on no. So. Just looking at that as a summary, as I said, you would expect it to be low scoring, favour of the home team, um, both teams not to score, um, and it'd be a relatively tight uh, tight game, 1-0, 2-0, 0-0, those sort of score lines are, are what, are, what looks likely, but not, as I said, not always the case. Now if we go to the half time, um, very similar, um, and that just takes a second to refresh, and then you can pull your team names. Um, we're just going to look at the same two teams and all that data then pulls through and it highlights which teams you're looking at for the home and away team in the uh, the tables uh, and looking at the half time analysis it's it's showing that the draw is by far the most likely so over 50 percent chance of it being a draw at half time and a home team win at uh, full time um, and looking at the score predictions so nil nil hugely the by far the most popular, 1-0 uh, to the away team and 1-0 um, to the home team being the second and third. But 0-0 is by far the standout. Uh, and again, you have the odds down the right-hand side there. Um, we don't provide the um, halftime odds for the over-under markets um, or the home 1x2. So these are purely the predicted or... Um, expected odds if you like for for this game but the the colors are the ones that allow you allow you to quickly see what the expectation is um and where they're where the likely value um given the the conversion of probability to odds so very quick uh tour of the the, the spreadsheet like i said it's free to download all the calculations are built in you just need to make sure that you're just sticking to the format uh that's laid out here. That is exactly the format that's on the um, the website. So if you pull from the fixtures and results, it will automatically import in that format. As long as you copy and paste, bring your columns down. If you don't want to use this and you can obtain your data from elsewhere, that is fine. But obviously, you need to make sure that the data you're pop it, uh, putting in here align to the uh, to the column headers we have in place. So I hope you find that uh, video useful, um, and I hope you find the file useful too.